Doodooj! How's it everybody? Today, switching it up. Going diving. Super stoked. Rada Kaniel has been going a lot recently. Um, and after a little bit of badgering, I was like, bro, I gotta go too. So we're out here today, over on the north side of the island. Brada Jared's here too, so is Maya and Alan. They're uh, still coming down right now. Brada Alec in the back, almost falling down. Kaniella helped me pick out a bunch of new equipment and lent me some suit, some other stuff. He's gonna lend me his gun. Kind of just a learning day for me, really. Figuring out all the new equipment and getting back into it. It's been like, bro, what is it, like 10 years easy since we've oh, done more than that, yeah. like 15 years. When I was a kid, I would dive, you know, fairly often. Um, but then I just stopped for a really long time. But, back at it today. So we're gonna get all set up. I'm gonna switch over the GoPro to the mask with mounting. I'm super stoked on this purchase. And then we're gonna head out. Hopefully nail a few nice fish. Hopefully have something to cook up later. See how this goes. Stoked. So this is the first time we've done a diving video on the channel, uh, taking a page out of Ryan Miner's book and doing a little audio recording over the dive footage. This was the first time testing out all this gear. I had to get some uh, sample time in, dive down a few times, make sure the mask fit properly, which thankfully it did. I had a brand new weight belt, brand new mask. Kanye kind of lent me a whole bunch of other gear. Uh, one of the main things I was trying to get tuned in was that weight belt, which uh, at the beginning of the dive, I thought was actually a little too heavy. I was sinking a little bit. But after we got out, maybe like into 20 feet of water, I realized, nah, I had basically the perfect amount of weight on. Now I'm starting to float when I dive down. I wasn't staying on the bottom like I would have wanted to. When I got down there, I was constantly slowly floating upward. So my buoyancy was not equal. Uh, so next time I go out, definitely going to have that extra, I think it was just one pound off, maybe one or two pounds. I have to fine tune that. We started heading out a little bit deeper, continuing to just, you know, explore, dive down, make sure everything was working well. Uh, the new mask I bought was a low volume mask, which is the first one I've personally ever owned. And it is a game changer when you're diving a little bit more deeper than normal. The uh, previous mask I had, I pretty much owned it for like 10 years, which is a normal snorkel mask. And it would hurt a lot when I would dive down deep. But with the low volume mask, that was basically not an issue anymore to me, which I was super stoked about. That thing was worth every dollar I paid for it. When I would dive down, as long as I was equalizing, pretty much had no problems and no pain with the exception for a little later in the video, which you'll see. So continuing to dive down, we saw a couple shelves. Kaniella dived under that one. I wanted to go check it out too. So I shot down, just took a little look around. Today, I wasn't really interested in taking too many just random shots. I wanted, if I was gonna take a shot, I was hoping that it was gonna be something lined up properly. With that in mind, it was more about just getting into the bottom, making sure all my equipment was prime and getting back into the feel. I haven't been really spear fishing at all lately. Last time I went out was like, Man, it was probably five years ago with any like depth to it. And before that, maybe when I was younger, like between 10 and 15, I'd dive, you know, fairly often, but nothing crazy. So the whole point of today to me was just to get back into the feel, make sure everything felt right, get comfortable with all my equipment, and then uh, take a couple shots if I could get them across some. I was going with Coniello, though, who have been going maybe for three or four months now, almost every weekend, and he is a. Uh, shot up in his experience points if you want to say that because he is uh, pretty much on top of it so I've taken a lot of pointers from him getting a lot of advice on what I was doing and kind of just shadowing him to get back into the feel of things as we went deeper into the water it started getting all these weird little like flakes of I don't know if this is some kind of cyanobacteria or that the coral was happening to spawn but there's all kinds of these little like floating little debris that were just cruising around as we went farther and farther away from shore we eventually got out to maybe, I don't know, I want to say 30 feet deep, something around there. Um, and one of those pieces of equipment I was trying to figure out happened to be the mask. And unfortunately, you're going to see in this video that I definitely haven't figured that out very perfectly yet. Because uh, in this shot, we have Kaniela dive down to the bottom. He spotted a little uhu from the top and he just kind of stalked up to it, got close, took a shot and nailed that thing. So boom, uhu was on the board. Unfortunately, you can only kind of see his fins and hear the shot go off and uh, even when I'm looking at the fish I'm really kind of blowing it right here. Not really getting a good shot, but you'll see what the fish look like a little later uh, When we get back out of the water from this point um, We just kind of circled around in the depth for a while We had a couple good uhus that swam by one of them was pretty dang good So we're kind of trying to stalk that we dove down a few times, but 
that was pretty much out of there at that point. We uh, spooked it a little bit, and that thing was gone. Caniello got another good shot at a different one, but again, it was just out of range, so he didn't bother shooting at it. He didn't want to just dive his spear into a coral or something. So One of the things I was uh, concerned about was Jared came out with us and uh, was having a lot of issues with his spear gun where it wasn't shooting properly, so he turned around and went back in. But we didn't see him get out of the water, so we started to get a little concerned. You know, you don't want to ever be diving and just be alone. So our idea was, okay, we'll circle back, check, make sure Jared's all good, and uh, maybe check out the shallows a little bit, and then come back uh, into the depths if we feel like that, uh, depending on what we catch on the way in. So started going in, peeking around, yelling for Jared. Luckily, we found him. He was fine. He was on the shore already. We just uh, couldn't see him because he was kind of pretty much hiding behind a big boulder. Right before we came back in, I noticed that it was really painful when I was diving down. And uh, turns out I had a little bit too much water in my nose, so I wasn't able to equalize properly when I dove down. And that actually caused me to burst a bunch of blood vessels in my nose. So totally blew it on that, but a massive learning lesson. You got to clear your nose out every time you go down because I was having a little bit of water going under my mask, just into the nose part, not into the lens. And that uh, made my nose clog up a lot. And instead of just, you know, blowing my nose out, I just let that build up in there and then end up being pretty painful by the end of the day. But lesson learned. After I went in kind of closer to shore, made sure Jared was there, I turned around. And of course, that's when Caniella takes another perfect shot and nails a nice Nainui. It's a pretty prime size Nainui. It's probably about two pounds or so. Um, he said it was just swimming behind him when he turned around and he just turned around and cracked it. So good on him. He nailed us two fish at this point. I'm still at zero, which is... Uh, par for the course on this diving episode but luckily Caniello is with us so we had fish on the board he pointed out to me where he saw those fish and said there's a school of them over there so I uh, began swimming in that direction went over there there was a nice little ledge uh, right where this little point came out so I dove down and kind of hid under the ledge and just peeked up over the top to see oh maybe I'll get a lucky shot there'll be something on the other side of this little ledge but unfortunately there was nothing in that area so no shot taken Continued swimming around that area for maybe 15 minutes. Wasn't getting anything good. But on my way back, there was a really nice uhu, like three times the size of the one that we shot. So this was being the end of our trip. I was just desperate at this point. Tried to take a shot. Spear went a little low. So it actually went under the fish and then clipped a rock. And the fish was just gone. That uhu was out of that area, never to be seen again. Uh, maybe we'll go back one day and maybe he's still swimming around. But after that shot, that was pretty much the end of our little diving session. And from this point on, we are jumping into uh, the catch and cook portion. Yeah. Okay, we're back in. The GoPro died while we were out there. Came back in, my, my nose was bleeding everywhere. So I guess I need to go more often to not deal with that. Alan and Maya made it. Yay. <laughs> so we're gonna go bring these fish over to Caniella's, make some lunch. Caniella provided. I didn't shoot anything today. I missed one big uhu. Pretty much the only shot I took. Jared Spear uh, had a baby malfunction. Small kind only shot one foot. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish cleaning up. Go to Caniella's. Dish. All right, guys. We're back at Caniella's house. I've been washing gear. I just went straight to washing mode, so I forgot to film the first filleting here. But but Alan's doing his thing. Filled up the Nainui. I'm gonna turn that into poke. Now he's working on playing up the uh, Uhu. We're gonna turn that into ceviche. And then I'm not sure what Caniella wants to do with the one uh, yellow eye cola. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, let's clean this up. Do the sack. <laughs> Good thing they only eat coral. Oh, brother, I'm standing here. <laughs> I need a bigger knife, then. This one's too small. It's a good fish. Yeah, once a fish gets past the blade length, it starts being a struggle. You got him, dude. How clean that is. Dude, I suck at that part. Whenever I try to take the skin off, I just butcher. It's good if you have like a good knife, like you can bend. That's the key. Ah, uh, it's gotta be thin. Yeah, this one is not so good, but still, it does the job. Oh, this one sucks, but I'm still a pro. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm just using a knife. But I know it's not like the best. Nice, now we can just chop it up as needed. Doesn't need to worry about the skin. Look how soft that meat is. Dude, it's so nice. It's 
gonna make bomb ceviche, dude. Oh my god. Doom. Done and done, dog. All right, Caniella, what you doing over here, my man? I think I'm cutting things properly. Yeah. Is this the ceviche? Yeah, this is the ceviche. Uhu. Uhu ceviche. Oh, look at it. It's already being done. So I'm just feeling for bones right now. Which one are you doing now? This is the uhu. I'm going to start the uhu right away so the lime can yeah. start cooking it. Why do you have it in two different buckets? One, that's poke. Okay, that's the new Oh, okay, okay. I should have asked for the uhu first. I didn't think about it. Oh, so this one right here is the... Uh, poke. That's and the kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a ceviche. Nice, nice. Okay. So this is the nenui. Yes. Hell yeah. This is the uhu. All right, Caniel is putting those finishing touches on the poke now. One. Two. What do we got in here? Onions. Onions, green onions. Uh, sesame. Sesame, lime. Lime, lime Soy. juice. Lime juice is in the ceviche. Ooh. Suck up all that dankness. <laughs> no, no, not faster, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, uh, here's the ceviche Caniela cooked up. It's sitting in the line right now cooking. And that's gonna go into. I just need the cilantro and everything sliced this up. This over here. Ooh, onions, green onions. That guy Fire. All right, we gotta get those final ingredients going. All right, that's good. Hell yeah. Getting a little stemmy. Yep, that's fine. You can toss that. And hey, look at the uhu. Look at how like cooked it. Yeah, it's going fast. Caniela threw some yeah. sesame in there. Mmm. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, Caniela, these smell so good, dude. Let me smell that. Oh, oh, ceviche. Ceviche. It's actually pepper water. Oh, the broadest Ooh, dude, style. Oh, that's a housemate. Yeah, that's not messing around chili pepper water. Not a whole lot. If it was me, I'd be like... Yeah, I'd be like <laughs> four, four or five. It'd be like a cereal. <laughs> this is a special way Canelo prepares this cole. You put them on top of green onions. It will cook by itself. Yeah, and it's going it to cook like that. Itself. Yeah, we'll come back in three hours and that's going to be fried. Not tomorrow. <laughs> It's kind of yellow's technique. Chop up tomatoes, right? And yeah. throw it into something, and all the tomato juice waters down. Yeah, you don't want this to the water. secret so method. So, this is all the, yes, yeah, so this is all the seeds. liquids and seeds. Oh, that's like, cool. You just want like the tomato flat. So, you just right? chop out the middle. Right, you chop out the middle. You just want to expose like the cavities, and you want to give it a light squeeze all the way around, getting out all that seed. Because I don't want this to saturate like the ceviche. Yeah, make it all wetter Watery than it needs to be. And, like seedy. Yeah. So, I was doing this. Smart. Well, oh, the ceviche is getting upgraded. It's getting better and better. I think one's good enough. Because it was yeah. small. Yeah, one's good enough. Yeah. yeah. Do nothing better. Oh, uh, you know food. what's up, bro. Chili pepper yeah. water. Ooh, ooh. That's how he's done, dude. No mixture. No. Yeah, no, we're not. No. <laughs> that one's for the mild people. <laughs> this one's just straight up. It's like, how much do you want? <laughs> just let me know. Tell me when. Say <laughs> when. Let me sample that, dude. Let me. He's so hungry. I can't wait anymore. It kind of looks like Lomi Lomi Thumb. I'm sure you have everything. I want to try that one. Yeah, I got all the ingredients in there. Ingredients? <laughs> How's that? Mmm. <laughs> all the all the ingredients. That's bomb. Mmm. Oh, hear, that's super bomb. I can hear that like extra French too. <laughs> I love that crunch. I'm sorry. Oh. You do all you right, want a piece of bro. Fish. You better put your sister's part aside right now. <laughs> that's, that's gonna get that's gonna, that's gonna get pounded. Me. Like, <laughs> you really need to. Try it with the. Mm. Sorry. Oh. 
Just this, that one. There's another one the same size as a cut a shot, but at that time Ooh. I was like, I need to kill a big one. Like I just, oh, here am I, sorry. No, you're good. I'm just gonna try Here we to go, guys. Two. One. Oh dude. Mmm. Dude, the cilantro. I'm gonna wake up Jared, the broad man's sleeping. Oh, here's kind of yellow. Wake up, boy, come eat some. Good, awesome, Jack. Oh. What do you think, Jared? Mmm. Is that the Nanonia? Mmm, no. That is the Uhu. Oh, wow. It's good. Last time I had Uhu, it was like too poke, it was super chewy, but that's really good. Yeah, the ceviche breaks it down a little. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it tastes so good. Oh. Oh, I got a lot of fish in. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's poker time. Woo! That's a chop. How's that? Which one do you need? something? I think I'm missing something. Hmm. I'm show you. Seeds, soy sauce. A little bit more soy sauce. A little <coughs> bit more. I forgot how much Nanini this was. Yeah. How heavy do you think that Nanui was? Probably two pounds. Okay. He was a good size, dude. I think he's the biggest one I've ever seen. Could have been three. Yeah. Personally, me, I just... Hit it with this. Yeah, hit it with Ooh. that, dude. I... The garlic inside there makes it upgrade, too. Is that what you guys do with your chili pepper? Do you put garlic? I think that's just water and chili. Mm. Dude, that thing's And salt. Good. Go ahead, pound it. Yeah, I, I better, I better get back on this. You guys are over here eating everything. I'm just watching this I chef just over here. I little pieces of fish only. That's better. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot better. Mmm. I'll try it on the chip too. So stoked, dude. I just saw you walk in off the water with that fish. Right here. Here's the yeah. perfect scoop of this poke right here. Mmm. It ain't like what Maya said, like the top of the line mm. fish. But that's still pretty oh, good. Oh, that's fire, dude. It's still really good. That's fire poke. Mmm. One more scoop. This is as fresh as it gets, too. Oh, that was a lot for an hour ago. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This mine? Bra. Does he, like, feel the top of their head? And there's a soft spot. See where their spine is? Yeah. There's a soft spot. Here. Oh, that's that's where I start filleting the fish. Right from the top of the head? Right. So you basically, all you're gonna do is, see, it just went right in. Yeah. You're gonna cut You kinda that. follow that. And when you just get halfway down, part. once you're there, all you do is you rip it, and what'll happen is it pulls <laughs> the entire guts out at the yeah. same time, and you're done, like that. Huh. That's the way more high speed version. Yeah, and then you just toss the head. Awesome, dude. You fried out. Oh, Jared, it, it you want, you want some head poke? Okay. Like, oh. you eat the whole thing, like bone and all. Like mentachi. Jared said he wanted to eat the head. This? Yeah. No. I'm not. <laughs> hey, he might do it, dude. Yeah, Jared. One dollar. You like head poke? Alright, next time, next time. Nice frisbee. We got a guest. He smells the, the dankness of what we're cooking. Should I grab him? I'm gonna get as close as I can with this. Oh, and he's gone. There you go. Poke at him. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. It only takes like 20 minutes to get like 115. Maya just added some upgrades to the poke. We're going to try it now. It's got a, what do we put? The avocado. Avocado. Got a spicy. Chili and a chili sauce. And a little bit of mayonnaise. Mm. That was a key, dude. Oh, that's a nice piece right there. Is that yours? Yeah. Mm. Is it way better? Good. Mm. Cheers. The mouth feels way better. <laughs> I bet the avocado made it like way it is, better. It's like the avocado crazy. made it way more mouthfeel. Want me to prep you a chip? Boosted the umami. Mm. The one for him. Yeah, it's better. Oh. Way better, actually. <laughs> Tony is gonna fry up the last boy just for samples since we caught it. Gotta cook it. There it goes. There you go. Look at him, dude. Look at him flexing up.
You have the most baby tongs, too. I gotta go right into the danger zone for this one, dude. No, it's sticking, too. This thing is frying. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, that's done, dude. I think, <laughs> I think it might be a little too done, actually. It's too done. I'm gonna eat its fin. It's still hot. Mm. Dude, the fins are so good. <laughs> like cheap, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice piece. Eat that whole thing, dude. It's like 50 50 white chili pepper water. <laughs> yeah, dude. And like <coughs> sauce. Yeah, we need to slay like 20 of these next time. Yeah, that's what you do. Is Let's like go by. This, you dip it in like that, and it's like the best. Jesus. How hot is this? Price. How am I holding it? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm. Yep. I don't know how. That's probably gonna taste good anyways, but like. And that sauce. It does? Mm. Yeah, and you just dip it in the. I don't know how charred. Oh, I just got the most banging peas right there. Mmm. I'm afraid of it now that I heard that sizzle. That's <laughs> fine. Burn your mouth. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought of the best thing.